Holy Week, a very special time as we continue our Jesus journey. A few of us from St Paul's have compiled a selection of readings, reflections and prayers, hopefully to give special insight into a very special week. These recordings will be on our website, Facebook page and our YouTube channel and will also be available from 12pm playing in the church building on a loop. Church will be open Holy Week on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday from 10am till 2pm where you may want to come in and light a candle and maybe sit quietly. We hope we have made provision for everyone, those of you that would like to be in the building and those who would like to press your buttons and view. The Lord bless you and keep you. We know what Jesus did by reading the four Gospels. Sometimes the four Gospels tell totally different stories because they're four different men looking at things from a different point of view. The story we're going to hear from Luke 7 verses 36 to 50, which Phil is going to read after this talk, has four versions in the different Gospels. And they're all very different. For one thing, the one we're hearing isn't in Bethany, but in the north of Israel. Whereas the other three are all in Bethany. It must seem in this story very strange to us. It's a story about a woman, not even a good woman, who comes and pours perfume oil all over Jesus' feet. In the other stories, sometimes it's his feet, sometimes it's his head. One thing is that in that part of the world, even today in parts of the Middle East, if you want to honour or respect someone, you actually pour scent all over them. It seems strange to us, but at that time it was normal. If you respected and honoured someone, that's what you did. It probably happened to Jesus lots of times, so the four events could be four totally different events. In this story, Simon, the Pharisee, is shocked because Jesus isn't at all bothered when this woman of very ill repute, everybody in the town knew her as a bad woman, is touching Jesus' feet. And Jesus doesn't appear to be at all bothered by that. Not only is she touching his feet, she isn't related to Jesus and women shouldn't touch men unless they're related to them. She's naughty. But Jesus isn't, wor isn't worried about that. He isn't interested in telling people what they've done wrong. He wants people to admit to him, to be sorry for what they've done. Hence the lady's weeping. She's sorry for the bad things she's done. Jesus wants us to turn to him. He was crucified to forgive our sins. And he wants us, because we are grateful that he has done this for us, to love him, turn to him, and follow him. Phil is going to read the story now. And as you listen to it, 
You can either make notes or doodle or just listen or imagine you are in one of the guests or the woman herself or Simon even. Think about it. Now one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him. So he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. When a woman who had lived a sinful life in that town learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster jar of perfume and as she stood behind him at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them and poured perfume on them. When the Pharisee, who had invited him, saw this, she said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of woman she is, that she is a sinner. Jesus answered, Simon, I have something to tell you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two men owed money to a certain moneylender. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he cancelled their debts. Now which of them will love him more? Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the biggest debt. You have judged correctly, Jesus said. <clears throat> then he turned towards the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house. You did not give me water for my feet, but she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman, from the time I entered, has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. For she loved much, but he who has been given, forgiven little loves little. Then Jesus said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The other guests began to say among themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Lynn is now going to play River Wash Over Me. Whilst you listen to this, meditate on and consider and think about what you have just heard.
Dear Lord, thank you for your word. Help us to turn to you. Accept our wrongdoings. Take our troubles and worries to the cross with you. And above all, thank you for your forgiveness. Amen. <laughs>